Hello everyone, a very good morning all of you. This is Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to the India's largest, the best and your favorite live learning platform that is Baiju's exam. So you guys are watching me live through the concept capsule and in this episode we are going to have the important topic of fluid mechanics that is pressure equation which is going to be very very beneficial for all the mechanical as well as civil aspirants. In this pressure equation we will, we will be actually talking about the application of Pascal law and hydrostatic law. So before I start let me quickly introduce myself. This is my quick introduction those who are meeting me for the first time. My name is Chandrasekhar. I am a mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi and also an engineering services examination qualified. I am quite comfortable in fluid mechanics, heat transfer and thermal and industrial engineering. So guys let us start but I would strongly request recommend you guys to join me on the telegram group which is mechanical by Chandrasekhar and you can be part you can always contact me through the mail id which is there on the screen let us start our session so what is manometer a manometer is the pressure measuring instrument which is based on the balancing of the fluid column as per the pressure difference so look this is the youtube manometer can you can you uh, see it here this is the youtube manometer when the left limb was not connected to the pipe, this is the pipe where we need to measure the pressure at this point. This is the pipe where the fluid is flowing, the density of the flowing fluid is rho. But I am talking about the situation when the manometer was not connected to the pipe. Then both the lips were, were open to the atmosphere. So the, the according to Pascal law, the level of manometric fluid in both the limbs was same, isn't it? This was the initial level when the limbs are not connected to the pipe, when both the limbs were open to the atmosphere. Let me call the manometric liquid to be having the density rho m. Now, this was the initial level. Now, as soon as the area of left limb is A1 and the area of the right limb is, let us say, A2. Now, as soon as the left limb is connected to the pipe, which is carrying the flowing fluid, then there is a deflection of manometric liquid in the left limb. Let me call it as A. And because there is a downward deflection of manometric fluid in left limb, there has to be an upward deflection of manometric liquid in the right limb. Isn't it? So, if we say that the volume of the manometric fluid remains constant, the total volume of the manometric liquid always remains constant in the manometer because we are neither adding nor removing any liquid. So we can say whatever the volume decreasing in the left limb should be equal to volume increasing in the right limb. What is the volume decreasing in the left limb? That is A1 into A must be equal to area A2 into B, isn't it? Right? This is one relation between A and B and we should always call A plus B the total deflection of the manometric liquid that is A plus B the total deflection of the manometric liquid This is called as F. That is called as manometric fluid deflection. X is the manometric fluid deflection due to attachment of left limb to the pipe. Deflection. Right? And if A1 is equal to A2, if the area of left limb and right limb are same, then definitely A will be equal to B and that will make that will be equal to a will be equal to B, which is equal to X by 2 each, isn't it? By 2 each. Or we can say, or we can say X is equal to either twice A or twice B. That is how we can find out the manometric 
fluid deflection if the deflection in the left limb is given or the deflection in the right limb is given if we know the areas of both the limbs then we can easily find out the total deflection of manometric fluid now now let us talk about the writing the pressure equation how to write the pressure equation to find the value of p to find p let us say the the manometric liquid is having the density rho m and the flowing fluid is having the density rho f and the total deflection of manometric liquid in the manometer is x and this distance is let us say y these are the parameters which are given and the objective is to find out the value of p p is the pressure at this location in the pipe and the other limb is open to the atmospheric pressure now by using the concept of hydrostatic law and pascal law how to write the pressure equation there are two methods one is known as jumping method what is jumping method jumping method stands for jumping between the points where the pressures are same according to jumping method we need to jump from one point in the left limb to the another point in the right limb so that both the points should be having the same pressure as per the condition of pascal law the points should lie in the same horizontal plane that is one of the condition the second condition is that is the one condition and the second condition is uh, the points must be joined by the same static fluid then only the pressure will be same so let us write the pressure equation using the pascal law and hydrostatic law if the pressure at this point is assumed to be p according to pascal law these two points will have same pressure so we can jump from here to here this point will also have the pressure p now we are moving in downward direction so there will be positive sign because the pressure increases with depth and we are traveling in the fluid which is having the density rho f into g into y we can reach here this is the pressure written for this point can we jump from here to here no not possible because these two points even though they are part of a static fluid and same horizontal plane but they cannot be joined by the same fluid neither from bottom nor from top so we cannot jump from this point we need to move further in downward direction because we are moving in downward direction pressure increases plus we are still traveling in rho f fluid into g now we are traveling a distance x we are here now we are here now we can comfortably jump from this point to this point because these two points are having same pressure according to pascal law these are joined by the continuous mass of same static fluid and lying in the horizontal plane that is why the method is called a jumping method now we are at this point of the right limb now we need to move in upward direction then there will be negative sign because pressure decreases with height we are traveling in manometric fluid into g into x distance is equal to the pressure at the top of the right limb is nothing but p at that is how we will write the pressure equation using the jumping method this will give you the absolute pressure and absolute pressure minus atmospheric pressure will become the gauge pressure will be equal to rho m into g x minus rho f into g y that is how we can find out the gauge pressure at that particular location in the fluid there is one more method even though the concept is the the concept is pascal law and hydrostatic law only but the another method is called as a datum line method what we need to do is here we need to draw a horizontal line in such a way that the point lying on the horizontal line must be having the same pressure so we are not jumping from one point to another now we are drawing a horizontal line in such a manner that the points lying on the horizontal line must have same pressure that is only when the points are satisfying all the conditions of pascal law uh, static fluid they must be joined by the continuous mass of same fluid let us see how to write this is the objective to find out the value of p now the flowing fluid is having the density rho f manometric fluid is having the density rho m and the deflection of manometric fluid is x and the distance is y this is y again we can start from point p can we draw a horizontal line here this can be treated as datum line so these two points are lying on the same horizontal line 
they must be having the same pressure and they are joined by the continuous mass of the same fluid that is rho L. So we can say the pressure here will also be P. Now we are now one one datum line is this. Another datum line can be drawn here. This can be the datum line, isn't it? Because these two points are satisfying all the condition of Pascal. So we will calculate the pressure here using the pressure equation for the left limb. We will calculate the pressure here using the uh, pressure equation for the right limb, and then we will equate these two because they are lying on the same datum line. So from here we are moving in downward direction. So plus we are traveling in row F into G to reach here. We are traveling in the same fluid X plus Y. This is the pressure at point A. Let us say. This is PA is equal to how to write PB. So we can start from the top of the right limb pressure at the top is PATM. Here the pressure is PATM. We are traveling in downward direction. Now we are traveling in manometric fluid in P into X that represents PB and according to Pascal law, PA is equal to PB. That will give you the absolute pressure because the atmospheric pressure is taken into consideration. And absolute minus atmospheric is the gas pressure at this location. We can write it as rho M G X minus rho f into g into x. The expression will remain same. The only thing is rather than jumping from one point to another, we are drawing a horizontal line in such a manner that the point must be having the same pressure. So the unit of this pressure equation will be Pascal. Because we are right multiplying rho into g into x. Now, if we want to write the pressure equation in terms of pressure head of a fluid, let us say in terms of water, if we want to write the pressure equation in terms of pressure head of water. Now what we will do, this is rho f, this is rho m, the manometric fluid deflection is again x and this is y, y. Now how to write the pressure equation in terms of pressure head of water having the density rho w. So we can start from this point P, we can jump or we can have a datum line, this point will also have the pressure P, P, then we are traveling in downward direction, so plus sign. Now we are traveling in flowing fluid up to a depth x plus y. We can use jumping method or datum line method, that is your choice. Let me have the datum line method, this is the datum line. So we are traveling in rho f fluid, and we are traveling a distance x plus y. If we want to convert this pressure head, which is in terms of rho f fluid to water, then we will divide by density of water. We are here. Then is equal to, is equal to, or we can, we can have the jumping method. Let me use the jumping method. Let me write using the jumping method. We can jump from here to here. Then, if we are jumping, then we are here. Then from here we are moving in upward direction minus, minus. We are traveling in rho m fluid up to a height x. If you want to convert it into water, then density of water is equal to atmospheric pressure and atmospheric pressure is nothing but 10.3 meter of water. We need to write the atmospheric pressure also in terms of water. So that this will give you the absolute pressure in meter of water, in meter of water. And if you want to write the gauge pressure in meter of water, then we will write rho m into x upon rho of water minus rho f into x plus y upon density of water. I hope it is clear that is gas pressure in meter of water. The unit is meter of water. Or we could have also written, in place of this we could have also written gas pressure density of this is Specific gravity, specific gravity of manometric fluid into x minus specific gravity density divided by density of water is the specific gravity. Then 
then specific gravity into x plus y i hope it is clear so this is your assignment question do try to solve this question this is x and this is y you need to find out the gauge pressure at this location the magnetic fluid is having the density rho m and the fluid flowing fluid is having the density rho f that is all from my side i hope you have enjoyed it i will bring more such concept in the next episode till then stay safe enjoy and take care and do not forget to like share and subscribe our byju's youtube channel thank you guys thank you have a good day